Hi, thanks for checking out my channel. My name's Kyle, and today I'm going to show you some top tips on how to become a super organized nuke artist. Today we're going to go over file management as well as how to actually make your note trees super organized and look really awesome as well as function great. Staying organized in Nuke is really important and making clean note trees uh, is something that will go a long way in your career if you're trying to become a VFX artist. So let's jump right in and check out these top tips. So my first tip for staying organized inside of Nuke is super simple and it's super obvious and most people probably do it already, but a lot of beginners don't and I wanted to mention it. You need to create a file structure before you start your comp. So make a folder for your project and inside of it create subfolders where everything's going to live. If you're using render sequences, have a spot for them. You want to make a file for all your Nuke scripts. If you're going to use pre-comps, assets from Photoshop, etc. Do that before you begin and you'll thank yourself later. Okay, so once you've created your file structure, it's time to get started inside of Nuke. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to properly link your read nodes uh, so your media stays with the file. I'm gonna go ahead and read in a node, uh, I'm sorry, a sequence here that I have in my footage folder and open that up. Okay, so this is reading great. Um, now, but if I were to move it to a different drive or share this file with a different artist on their computer, it would no longer link and it would give you a, a missing media error. You'd have to relink the footage. And that's because this is set to an absolute file path. Now you can set it to where it moves with the file and I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first step you have to do is you have to save your comp. If your comp isn't saved, it won't work. And it's really important that you save your comp inside of the same Nuke project folder that you created that you're working with. So inside of your Nuke scripts, you can just name this and save that. So that's the first step. The second thing you need to do is you need to open up your project settings by hitting S. And then there's this um, project directory. It's blank by default. You hit script directory right next to it and it generates this. Once you've done those two things, it's super easy to uh, link this properly. Just go up to your read node where the file path is and nuke project and everything before that gets replaced by two dots, just period, period, and then hit enter. And now it, nothing changes, it's still reading. But what this means is that the next person to open up this file, it's gonna look inside of the file structure that you created and it's going to automatically link this. So you could move this to a different drive. You could give this to another artist and they'll be able to open it up and the media will open properly for them. Okay, so now we're finally getting into the more interesting stuff. This is the fun stuff inside of your actual script. How do you stay organized? Well, this is the possibly the most important tip in the, in the list because you absolutely have to build your scripts like this or, or they will become huge spider webs. And it is respecting the B down pipeline. That's what I'm talking about. What do I mean by respect the B down pipeline? Well, let's check out an example. Let's say I've got two plates here. One of them's this desert background. And then I have a CG render of a train that I want to put on top of it. So we know we're going to use a merge and we know that A goes over B. So let's say we want the train, which is A, to go over B. Now that's gonna work, but it's not right. The correct way to set this up is B down pipeline. So the B is going down, the A is coming in from the left. Another aspect of maintaining the proper B down pipeline is to bring your masks in from the right. You can tell that um, the mask input is natively on the right, so just go with that. Uh, that's what they intended to do, and this is the proper setup. So you can see we've got B down coming down. The, whatever's coming over it on the A is on the left, and then the mask is coming in on the right side. If you do this consistently, even though it is challenging sometimes when you have uh, a really big script, it's going to be way cleaner and way easier for you to come back later and tell what you were doing. This is super important. All right, the last thing I want to touch on is how to keep your large scripts organized and easy to, to use by spacing them out and using backdrop nodes. So here's an example of a script that turned pretty big. And as you can see, I have all these backdrop nodes. So if I want to change something, um, hey, the muzzle flash is too much over here. I know where that's at from a distance. I don't have to zoom in and see what I'm looking at. So using those backdrop nodes, um, the way you can really view an overview of the script and know um, where you're at 
in what's going on, do that as you work. Don't let it get too far ahead before you start putting these in because you will regret it. And you'll also notice that I leave quite a lot of space in, in my uh, node trees. Like if you need to add color corrects or you need to add some, like sometimes you'll see that it's actually kind of crowded. Well, that's because I left that big space to begin with there to have room to do that. Um, so leave a lot of space inside of your node trees and also use those backdrop nodes. So to illustrate the importance of spacing out your nodes and using backdrop nodes, I went ahead and took them all out and showed you this exact same script without it. So as you can see, um, this would be a nightmare to work on, trying to figure out where the problem is or just to change something. You don't even know what's going on. And it's technically the same. It functions the same. It's using a B-down pipe, but this is the wrong way to do it. This is not a good script uh, in the grand scheme. You really need to be able to come back at a later time and look at it and know what you were doing. So I just wanted to show this as an example, what not to do. So there you have it. Those are my top tips for being super organized as a nuke artist. Your file structure is going to be clean. You're going to be able to transfer it. Your notes are going to look great and you're going to be able to tell exactly what you're doing and other artists are going to appreciate it and you're going to appreciate it as well uh, the more you work inside of nuke. I wanted to give a lot of credit to the Foundry um, because they actually have a lot of resources to learn. A lot of where I picked this stuff up from is from their own learning resources. Uh, How to Stand Out as a Junior Compositor is an amazing video. It goes into way more depth than this. I basically just boiled down um, the simplest version for absolute beginners, but please uh, continue your learning with the Foundry. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you took something from it. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the feedback. If you like content like this and you want to check out my other videos, please uh, like and subscribe. Good luck comping and never stop challenging yourself.